students in this video we will talk about uh, Hoffman rearrangement Hoffman rearrangement is conversion of primary amide to primary amine with one carbon short means one carbon is lost during the process so due to this reason it is also called Hoffman degradation and this conversion this rearrangement was reported by a W Hoffman in 1881 when he was uh, using acetamide and treating with base the general reaction would be this one the reaction takes place in the presence of alkali hypochlorite or QH or NaOH in the presence of bromine or chlorine and we get primary amine and here we can see this carbon is missing uh, in the molecule and this reaction takes place under heating conditions now we see the mechanism this amide is treated with base and because we see that this carbonyl group makes these hydrogens acidic so this proton is abstracted this bond breaks and converts to negative charge on nitrogen as a result we get this one and in the next step this negative charge reacts with bromine and we get N bromo acetamide derivative and again base is present in the system so hydroxide would take the second proton and as a result of it we get nitrine and this nitrine is unstable so this bond would shift towards nitrogen this double uh, negative charge would come here and Br would be eliminated and as a result this isocyanate is formed and again this isocyanate is formed through bridged anion nitrogen here is Br we can show this transition as a dotted bond and it is making bond with this carbon so so we show it with dotted bond and this bond is also in transition again dotted bond a double bond is formed is being formed between these two atoms so here so 
this is the bridged anion which is being formed and this converts first to this and this converts into this one so we get this one br negative is eliminated and we get the isocyanate and again we see the reactivity of isocyanate In general, three types of uh, molecules react with isocyanate. If we use water and we know that this carbon is electrophilic, so it would attack here and we will get carbamic acid derivatives and this is unstable would lose co2 from here and we would get primary amine and if we use amine we get urea derivative And if we use what, uh, alcohol, all would attack here, and we will get we would get carbamates. So this. Uh, isocyanate can react with water to form primary amine and with uh, amide to form urea derivative and with alcohol to form carbamates now we see the characteristics in general the uh, standard procedure for this reaction involves the addition of primary amide to cold aqueous solution of alkali hypobromide solution and as a result this the resulting solution is heated to 70 or 80 degree centigrade to bring about this rearrangement so first feature is hypochlorite solutions are required which are formed using potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide plus Cl2 or Br2 both can uh, anyone among the both can be used secondly there should not be any base sensitive groups on amide base sensitive groups on amides should not be used however uh, recent investigations uh, show that if we use oxidative Hoffman rearrangement using uh, hypervalent iodine reagents uh, base sensitive groups can also be used however in general conditions using these conditions base sensitive groups on amide should be avoided because base can react with uh, the base sensitive groups However, acid sensitive groups can be used. So next point is this rearrangement also involves the migration towards electron deficient nitrogen. As we have seen during rearrangement step which is also rate determining step. In this case also uh, in this rearrangement also if the starting amide is enantiopure 
In Nanchopure means only one type of uh, stereoisomer is present. The retention of configuration will take place and as a result of the reaction, we will get Enantiopure products as well. So complete retention of configuration during this rearrangement takes place. Moreover, the isocyanate which is formed during the reaction, it is not isolated, rather it is reacted in situ because it is very unstable. So these were the features or characteristics of Hoffman rearrangement. I hope you have clearly understood all these concepts. Um, but if you find any question or confusion, you can leave your comments in comment box. Thanks.